Welcome back, tutorial 25, part 5. If you've just dived in, we have um, created some routers, configured those routers to have a username, DNS, gateway, uh, baseline them, set up some contract uh, baselines for expect table size, etc. Set some other baselines in terms of uh, global state policy, and we've just set up some interfaces. Um, to be bonded. So we have uh, 0 and 2 on bond 0 and uh, 1 and 3 on bond 1 and you can see that down here. So on both of our machines we have our bonds and we've just tested that at the uh, end of part 4. So that's where you join us. Um, what are we going to do now? Well now we are going to implement VRRP on this pair of routers. And what does that mean? Well, I have a little diagram. So we are going to basically now put a virtual IP address on our bond using VRRP. And that means any machines that talk to the router will actually be talking to the pair of routers. That's the dotted line in green. So these routers will share a an IP address across them, one in master and one in backup. So these will have a relationship whereby if we lose a particular router then we will be able to recover. And I think I actually have a picture of that also. Here it is. So if we lose one of London's Viatas, the other one will pick up the slack. So we will not end up in a situation where we have no routing and no firewalling. That's what we're going to set up now. So, how do we do that? Well, we have to set up a thing called VRRP, Virtual Router Redundancy Protocol. And that will give us what we need in terms of our actual routers. So, to start setting this up, we want to again review our IP addresses and when you log into SoftLayer and you're doing this on SoftLayer, it may already be set up because you ordered a high availability pair. If it's not set up, at least this will show you how to do it. So first off, you will go into the SoftLayer portal and you will find your, um, your VLAN and then your subnet addresses that are available on that VLAN. You will find in there, not just the gateway, but you will find two reserved addresses called HSRP. And these are what we will use for our actual virtual IP address shared across the two machines. So I just wanted to point that out to you. Right, I'm going to log into this one. Okay, get into configure mode. I'm going to put that away. Actually, it can stay there. Oh, no, I'll tell you what, put it there. So you can see the IP addresses and you can see the actual diagram of what we're setting up. So we have our bond. Let's do a run show interface. We're happy with those. We know our memberships of the bond. We can see them there. I've listed them out. Show them down here also. So we now want to say set interfaces. bonding and we're going to look at bond 0 first and we're going to say it's VRRP and it's in a VRRP group and we're going to call that group 1. We're going to set an advertisement interval. What does that mean? It's the every second one. It will tell the other machine in its partnership about the bond. Uh, sorry, about the VRRP. In this case, bond 0. So then we're going to say preempt is false. So we want to let this work out what it's going to be based on its priorities. We're going to say the priority then is 254 for this machine at the top. The north side, London will be the master. We're then going to say it's RFC compatible. I would be lying if I knew why. I probably need to go and read RFC 3768. I just always do this. This was the commands I was shown. 
Then we want to have a sync group. And our entire sync group is going to be called vgroup1. And then finally, we're going to give it an address. Virtual address. And on the public is 159.10.12.97, because one of these, sorry, not 97, whoa, that would be a mistake, slash 26. It's going to be on the 98. It's one of these reserved addresses. Perfect. Now we're going to do the same. Bonding. Bond one this time, bond one this time, VRRP, VRRP group, it's still group one, advertising interval, second, preempt, false, priority, 254, RFC compatible, fine. Sync group. What sync group is it going to be? V group one. If you type any of these in correctly, it won't work. And then finally, it's virtual address on the private. So now we need to go back here. What's it on the private side? On the private side, our first HSRP is 9.3, 9.3, okay, so it's 10.1.9.3 slash 26, okay, we'll do a commit, we'll do a save, and we'll do a run show interfaces. There we go. Okay, we have a bond V1, a bond 0 V1, and a bond 1 V1. And those are the addresses we expect to see. Perfect. So now we're going to do the same on the south side. I just have to stop there to uh, get myself a cigarette. Um, where were we? Oh yeah, we need to do the same on the uh, south side. So I'm going to go into uh, configure mode. It's absolutely fine. We're in configure mode. We want to... Um, we've done bond 0 and bond 1 up above. We now need to do bond 0 and bond 1 here. Let me just make sure I know where I am. Um, yeah, we have no bonding here. Uh, sorry, we have the bonding. We have no um, VRRP. So, if I also up here do show, uh, run, sorry, show VRRP, we now have this one as the master. If we do a run show VRRP here, VRRP isn't running. Fine, absolutely fine. Um, I want to make sure these machines can ping each other. So ping 159.10.12.101. Yep. And, well, we're checking this just in case there was some problem with the switching, um, 9.6. Um, and that's the south side as well. Run show interfaces. Whoops. If I could type. There we go. So we can ping 101, which is down here, and we can ping 6, which is down here. So that's absolutely fine. So we want to do a set interfaces. Um, bonding, bond zero, and on to bond zero, we want to add VRRP, VRRP group is one, and the advertise is one, preempt is false, want to have a priority, but on this machine, it's a lesser priority, 253. B group one, RFC, and we're gonna have the sync group, and that's V group one, 
make sure I'm typing these all in correctly. Let's just make sure it was V group one I had, wasn't it? V group one, that's fine. Yeah. Perfect. Um, and then we want to add a virtual address. And what was the virtual address on the public side was 159.10.12.90. Eight slash twenty six. That's the address we're using as the shared virtual address between the machines. Okay, and then we want to do the same again. I'm actually going to type these out because I don't want to make a mistake. Bonding bond one this time. VRRP, VRRP group, one, advertise, one, preempt, false, priority, 253, RFC, um, Sync group is V group one. Perfect, and its virtual address is going to be ten dot one dot nine dot three slash twenty six. Commit that, save that. Now, if we run show VRRP. Perfect. So we have our master and our backup. And you have VRRP running between these machines. So I now want to bring up our terminals again. There they are. So what do we want to do? Well, we want to change our public side show IP. We have a gateway of 101 because when we were doing the testing of the bonds, we were using the actual interfaces themselves, or the bonded interface itself. So instead, we want to change this now. I'm just going to arrow up, there we go. And on the 12 network, we want to use the virtual IP that we've just created. Again, if I do a run show interface, I just want to show you how it'll look. Your bonds here are administratively down, A, D. So our actual VRRP, our bond 0 V1 and our bond 1 V1 are down on the secondary machine, and they would be. They're up on this machine. So we want to use this public IP address as our gateway now, because this is our shared IP. So we want to do a 98. And on our private side, we want to do three, because that's the IP we're sharing. Let's make sure these machines can ping each other. 159.10.12.110. Perfect. And there we go, pinging each other fine. So now we want to do some testing. So to our testing. Well, we want to just bring down one of these machines and see what happens. That's what we want to do. Kill it. It's gone. So let's bring up our terminals again. Here they are. Are we getting through? We are. So how is it doing it? Well, that's because this machine has taken over as master and is now configured with the addresses 98 and 3, exactly as we would have expected. What happens when the other machine comes up? Well, let's see. Will it take over as master again? In theory, it should do because of the priority, but until there's an actual fault, it may not do. Let's see what happens. 
So let that machine come up. I'll bring up our terminals again. I'll just keep pinging between machines here. There they are again, getting each other. All the pinging is working, as you can see, from public to private, right the way through. The interfaces are up now on this machine. Both our systems can still ping each other. Who is now the master? It still looks like this one is the master. Run show VRRP. It is still the master. If I go in on here, and I do a show VRRP, it's in backup. Let's come back up. It's in backup mode, which it is. I guess it would be only fair to show it going the other direction. Everything is fine. Everything's up and running, so I'm just going to move this. Oh, I might as well bring it to the front. Let's stop this one. See what happens. Let's bring our terminals up. Let's make sure this is taken over as master. It has. And there you have it. Both machines pinging both directions regardless of what we lose. So we fully tested our VRRP. Might as well bring this back up again. And it's back the way it was originally. So we're going back and forth, back and forth. The secondary machine is coming up now. This one will remain as our master. So, what do we have to do next? Well, now we've got VRRP all working fine, and we're happy with that. We now want to return to VLANs and reconfigure our setup here. Let me go back to our picture. Reconfigure our setup for actual VLAN implementation because we want to emulate several machines hanging off this switch here. So we're going to add more ports and add more VLANs. And indeed, we're going to have far more machines listed along here. So join me for part six when we can actually set up our VLANs to emulate software.